In this video, we will discuss an issue with the name boundary tool to where it has a shift in your actual sheet model whenever it gets created for the clipping boundary. So let me go ahead and explain. If I come up here and go to the MoDOT CAD detailing standards, I will go to design for this example, and I will go to the name boundary option and go to the detail sheet. And I'm going to name this one typical section one. My detail scale is going to be one inch equals five foot. I will uncheck this one for this example. And I will go ahead and place my name boundary out here. And now I have my name boundary placed. I could come in here and move it and do whatever. But the issue is whenever I have geometry that's outside of the border for whatever reason, whether I have miscellaneous data out here above it, below it, it seems like whenever it actually cuts the drawing model and sheet model, inside the sheet model, the actual clipping shape will be shifted off. It may be a little bit left, it may be a little bit right, up above it, below it, whatever. But I'll show you an easy way to fix that. It doesn't do that if all the geometry is actually inside of your drawing model before you clip your shapes out. So if you don't have any geometry that, that's outside of it, it works flawlessly. It's just if you have data that's outside of it for whatever reason, then you'll possibly see a shift in your actual sheet model. So let me go ahead and go to the drawing workflow. And I will go to view and I will go to my name boundary and I will go to the name boundary manager. And there's multiple spots that you can get to this tool. I'm just using this one for this example. And let me go ahead and go down to my named boundary. That's right here. I do want to make sure this one here is toggled on. That way it shows the create drawing dialog. And I will go ahead and right click over it, create the drawing. And this is going to, of course, be the name of my sheet model and drawing model. I'll leave it set to that. I'll change my drawing model scale to match my named boundary, which was one inch equals five foot. Double check this one right here, and that's good. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. And now you'll notice that my sheet model is created and also my drawing model is created. Everything looks okay. But the problem is if I go back to my sheet model, you're going to notice that this is a good thing to check on all sheets that you create is to come in here and just turn on constructions because that clipping boundary that we have defined is on a construction attribute. So if I turn that on, you're going to notice that it's actually shifted a little bit to the right and a little bit down. Well, we need to fix that. And an easy way to fix this is to go back to the Home tab, go to the Attach Tools, which are my references, and I will go to my sheet, not my actual border file. I don't want to mess with it, but I'll go to my actual file because this geometry is referenced into the sheet model, which was explained in a different video. But if I come into that, I can go ahead and select this and go to the Tools, Move, and just simply use that, this anchor point right here, because I want to move from here up to here. I'll just snap to that point, snap to this point right here, and I'll go ahead and right click to reset it. And now my clipping shape is set exactly to where it should be. And I don't need to make any other modifications to this sheet now. So if I go ahead and go back and close this down, do a fit view, turn off my constructions and my attributes, now everything is set correctly for the clipping shape. So if I come back into my default model, and let's say I add some stuff. And this is just for this, this example here. And I go back to my sheet model. You'll notice that it's set in the correct spot. Go back to the default model. And you'll notice that this geometry right here, of course, is not inside of my sheet model because it's clipped out. So that's what you need to do and to check after you create your sheets. Turn on constructions and see where your clipping boundary resides at. And then if you have to, you can always go back in there and modify it accordingly. And that's how you'd fix that. 